Hello. It is I. I started making videos for a couple reasons. One being that I'm a propagandist and I want to slowly push my ideology onto people in a way that uh, seems entertaining and informative and only subtly manipulative. Second is that I'm a very competitive person. I see someone doing something and I want to do what they're doing and do it better than them. Or if someone says they're going to do something and they don't do it, I go, well, I'm going to do that. But the, the real reason why is I don't like the idea of a sort of homogenized monoculture. I don't like the idea of us all getting our information from one source that is very far away from our community that has nothing to do with us or our lives or who we are as people. I thought that making a show like Trashburg could be a sort of fun local form of entertainment that would empower people, make people feel creative, make people laugh, make me some of that sweet, sweet Patreon money. When I started doing it, there wasn't a ton of local stuff like that. And I felt like that would change. And over the last, I don't know, four years, I think it's been, uh, since we first started, you know, myself and the group of people I work with, uh, started making dumb sh on the internet, a lot more people have started doing that and there's a lot more choices for locally produced content, which I know it sounds dumb in one sense to talk about content. I, it, it's a kind of a dirty word, but you know what I'm trying to get at. There's locally made entertainment on the internet and it's really cool to see that because I don't give a f about what any network television has to say to me. I don't, I just don't identify with that stuff. And I don't think I'm the only one. I care a lot more about what local people have to say. But we don't have a local public access station that, with a production facility that's open to people here. You know, people have to kind of take it upon themselves to do it. So I just wanted to highlight a few of those people and what they're doing uh, and kind of spread the word because I really believe in the idea of for us, by us, if you know what I mean. So first up, Life on Saturn. These people are doing a whole lot of stuff. It's a crew, it's a band. They're like, a, I, they had a really nice tagline. It's, it's something like a multimedia something, something, something collective experiences and storytelling. No, um, it's, I don't know, they do a lot of stuff. They do a lot of stuff under that moniker. Different videos, performances, different types of videos. There's the, they do stop motion stuff. They do interviews, they do comedy. They're working on a new sketch show. Uh, they actually also have a fundraiser going on right now that I will link to down there. And I'll link to their channel. I'll link to all these people I talk about down down somewhere below, there will be a link to what they do so you can see it for yourself. It's hard to describe exactly what they do because it's so diverse, multifaceted, but give it a look. Next up, I want to talk about Real Fine Fishing. This is a local show about fishing. It's hosted by Corey Jersey, uh, one of the Jersey boys. You might see some of those other Jersey boys over in the Life on Saturn sh if you're into the outdoors, you're into fishing, you're into uh, doing some North Country sh check that one out. Next up, another outdoorsy channel. It's called uh, Learning the Trails. Learning the Trails is Justin Schultz of uh, TPR fame and his daughter Kaylee, and they go through a bunch of different Adirondack trails. They hike, they talk about it, they explore, they learn. It's heartwarming, it's family friendly, it's entertaining. Uh, Check it out. I thought I had a sneeze coming. I did not. Another outdoorsy channel is Rabbit1124. This is Mr. Kyle Rabidou's channel. He goes around to a lot of uh, 
abandoned places in the North Country and kind of does these little video tours. Uh, he's got some hiking videos, some trails, some nature spots, uh, a couple, couple videos of some North Country events, uh, festivals, parades, and the like. The abandoned places videos are a favorite of mine. They're just kind of these crazy spots that you may not actually get a chance to go see yourself. So it's sweet that he goes in there, documents it, finds a safe and legal way to get in there most of the time, uh, if not always. So give that one a look as well. Next up, I want to talk about North Volume. Uh, North Volume started, I don't know, maybe like a year or two ago? It's hard to remember. Time flies. Uh, they started up as doing a uh, sort of locally focused internet radio station that's expanded into podcasts. Uh, and since then, they've kind of like moved, moved on from the radio idea and have focused more on podcasts and video podcasts, as well as a magazine, a, a digital magazine, and uh, video supplements to that magazine. So they have, uh, I don't know, I want to say like five or six shows currently running that have podcasts you can get almost every day of the week. And there are video versions of most of those shows as well up on their channel. Uh, one of the video shows I want to note especially is Button Mashing. It's a Let's Play show. So they really uh, take advantage of the visual medium, so to speak. And they do, uh, yeah, North Volume Magazine where they kind of highlight different creators, producers, uh, people making things happen in the North Country. And they've started doing video profiles on them as well that you can check out on their channel. Um, a lot of different content from a lot of different people, all under that North Volume banner. Check it out, northvolume.com. All right, next up is a channel called Gohan Barracuda. Uh, it's a man in a red skull mask. You may have seen him around town. I've run into him a few times downtown. Uh, he's an eccentric guy. He's got a sort of a vlog style, different rants. Uh, he's got a lot of ideas to share. Uh, I really enjoy his stuff. Um, it's nice to see all these local personalities kind of have their time to speak unfiltered to an audience. So if you're looking for something that's a little more, uh, a little more out there, a little edgier, uh, check out that channel. He goes out of his way to make sure he has weekly uploads, but sometimes it's even more regular than that, so you can always look forward to new stuff from him. Uh, a plus. Like that one a lot. Next up, this is not actually a YouTube channel, but it's a uh, it's another podcast I want to talk about. It is Slop Dog Radio. Uh, it's this dude Ryan. Uh, I believe the tagline for the show is a uh, is waging a war against the pussification of our great nation. Uh, it's kind of a kind of pushing back against PC culture in a way. Uh, thinking the war of ideas. There's a lot of different viewpoints, especially locally amongst our neighbors, our peers, our friends. And it's nice to get someone uh, kind of putting an idea out there that's a little bit against the grain. Uh, maybe you agree with them, maybe you don't. But either way, want to highlight that as well. It's another person in our community putting their ideas out there, putting themselves out there creatively. Uh, he does a regular podcast that features all sorts of different guests. Uh, Dom from Life on Saturn was recently on there. That's how I found out about it. And uh, we hope to have him on our show, The Trash Cast, sometime in the next year, January 2019. Whoa, time passing. Can you believe it? Whoa. The last one I want to cover is another YouTube channel. Hometown Cable Network is a local, regional, public access program that in recent years has made the shift to YouTube, archiving a lot of their stuff, a lot of their broadcasts that are shown on public access TV. They're now online. They've got shows going back all the way to the 80s. They have just, it's just amazing archival footage of our community. Um, they do drives around Plattsburgh with some of the former mayors. They've got all sorts of parades. Um, it's crazy to see some of the Plattsburgh parades from the 90s when things were really booming here. I only moved here in, I think, 2009. So I, I missed all that stuff. I was never a part of that, but I keep hearing about it. Uh, and I see photos every now and then, but it's completely different to see a full hour plus long video of those times and to really, I don't know, just see what it was like back then. Uh, they also have all sorts of regional and local sports games on there. All, just a whole bevy of, you know, interviews, event coverage, sports coverage. Sometimes they even have the full broadcast with old local commercials and I really get a kick out of that. And uh, 
You know what, speaking of local commercials, there's a couple other channels I should highlight. I'll leave a link to all these again. Bruce Carlin is one of them. Uh, he has a channel where he's someone who's been involved in local marketing and uh, video production for a very long time. He has archived all of his commercial work on YouTube as well, and it's really a trip to go back and see some of these YouTube you know, videos that have commercials, again, going all the way back to the 80s. Uh, they're funny, they're fun, you know, he's not afraid to, uh, hey, he's not afraid to be goofy in his work. Uh, and it's really fun to see that stuff, especially some of the older ones, looking back on some of the past businesses, or just crazy to see how long some of these places have been active, and you see some familiar faces, and really, ultimately, that's the thing that I like the most, is seeing these people from around our community, getting to know them in a different light, seeing them creatively, uh, and when I go and I want to be entertained, it's nice to know that someone locally has my back. So I'm going to leave links to all those channels, any links they have that you can support them, any other stuff they got going on. And if there are more channels or more outlets or more podcasts, more things that I didn't know about that I forgot to mention here, please let me know. I'll do a follow-up video. And uh, hey, thanks to everyone for watching and being involved and being beautiful star children. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.